Good day everyone, I'm here again to make another video and today I made this um, poto cheese and for the ingredients we are going to need uh, one and a half cup of all-purpose flour, one cup white sugar, and three eggs, and kakailangan din natin ng half cup of water, and one tablespoon of baking powder, and kakailangan din natin ng milk, uh, it's six ounces or three-fourth cup, uh, I use uh, fresh milk, but you can also use um, evaporated milk, uh, pareho lang naman sila ng resulta. And kakailangan din natin ng 2 tablespoons of melted butter. And syempre, we are going to need um, the adding cheese and the molding cup at saka yung whisker just to mix everything. So, simulan na natin. So, ito na yung flour natin. Um, sisimulan na natin itong haluin. We're just gonna start with the dry ingredients. I'm gonna start with the baking powder. Give it a little mix. Tapos, white sugar. And we're just gonna add the eggs one at a time. I'm just gonna add our milk. This is a very easy recipe. You can make it when you're abroad. Kasi yung mga ingredients na kailangan ito, hindi naman like you have to have like a specific Asian store or Filipino store para bilhin yung mga ingredients. Napakadali lang. All-purpose flour, you can buy everywhere. Eggs, tsaka yung butter. And yung gagamitin ko lang na cheese dito ay edin cheese. Kasi gusto ko talaga yung, na, yung Pilipino na Pilipino talaga yung puto natin. But you can also use um, other kind of cheese, guys. Pero kasi yung mga cheese ng ibang bansa, ano siya, madali siyang matunaw. So, hindi, hindi natin maa-achieve yung look na gusto natin for our puto. At saka yung puto cheese din kasi, ito talaga yung Pinoy na Pinoy na uh, lasa. So, kaya ko siya gusto. Pero, as I said, kung gusto nyo naman talaga kumain ng nang puto, namimiss nyo yung puto, or mga, may mga party kayo, sobrang dali lang ito. At saka, ilalagay ko lang yung water. Nagpapakulong din ako ng tubig sa ating steamer. Ayan. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and add our butter. Yeah. Super dali lang nito. And dali na nashish natin siyang steam. Ilalagay lang natin ito sa molding cups. And ito na yung molding cups ko. Um, you can use a melted butter to like brush sa molding cups para hindi dumikit yung puto nyo. But for me, I'm just gonna use the spray. As I said, you can use naman whatever. Ayan. Spray ko lang. So, magskuskup lang ako dito ng mm, mixture. Tapos, ilalagay lang natin. Huwag punuin masyado kasi tutubo pa yung puto. Tsaka, ito yung cheese. So, what I'm gonna do is... Sorry, napapa-English talaga ako. Ano lang, ilalagay ko lang siya on top. Lagay lang natin siya on top. 
Don't worry kung nagkakamay ako guys. Kami lang din naman ang kakain ito. Ayan. So, this puto is ready. Ready? <laughs> so, ayan. Um, it is ready to go in a steamer. So, uh, ayan na yung steamer ko. Please don't judge my steamer guys. Rice cooker lang talaga siya na luma. Tapos may, may steamer lang ako. Nilalagay ko siya sa stove. So, your friend is very poor and I can't afford. Okay? So, yeah. Let's go steamer puto. So, the puto is steaming. Let's just wait uh, 10 minutes at saka magiging ready na to siya. Ito na po ang ating puto after 10 minutes of steaming. Ayan, makikita mo talaga na yung cheese na sa ibabaw siya. Kaya sabi ko kanina, ay ako gustong gustong gumamit ng erin cheese kasi ito yung nagiging resulta niya. Kumpara dun sa mga cheese ng, yan, linisin ko na yung camera kasi yung fog. Um, kumpara dun sa mga cheese ng ibang bansa na madali lang matunaw. So, yeah, pero as I said, pwede yung gamitin kahit ano. So, ayan, after 10 minutes, tapos na siya. Kaya, kainin na natin. Tapos na ang ating puto. And sobrang lambot niya kasi naglagay tayo ng butter. Yun yung nagpapalambot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!